Are you wanting to feel more passionate, more alive, more excited? Well, today I want to talk about this idea of passion that has really enhanced the quality of my life. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra point for you then as well. If you want to connect with me more, you can find my social media links in the show notes below. My coach and I were talking about purpose, fulfillment the other day. And then I heard this come up on a call I was on yesterday again. And that's why I wanted to talk talk about it because it's really made a difference to me. And it's this idea of doing the things that really you're passionate about in life. I'm not talking about passion in terms of an intimate partner, or that might obviously be on the list. That's great. You know, that's great. I'm talking about things that genuinely make you feel alive and excited, not what you think you should be doing, things that genuinely you get that feeling, you're excited, you're genuinely happy when you do it. Because for me, uh, one of the things that I identified was writing. And I was like, well, is it really worth my time writing? Is writing the best career I could be doing right now with two demanding jobs? Is writing really going to get me anywhere? See, we're all, gu- we're all guilty of these kind of limiting beliefs, right? And then we were talking back and forth and it was like, well, it energizes you, it lights you up, it helps your soul if you want to go a bit deeper, right? And I realized it wasn't a waste of time because it made me f- feel more alive. So I'm more motivated and inspired in life in general. Passion is not a waste of time, I realized, if it energizes me. And maybe you're not doing the things that make you feel alive. We're going to go into some tips, some steps you can really do to get this out of you and really get more passion in life. But how does it help you just doing the same old things and not really being lit up? Well, I've been guilty of that many times. Just a logical mind going in, oh, I shouldn't do that, I shouldn't do that, you know, oh, that's a waste of time. So here we go. The first thing you want to do is make a list of things that you're really passionate about, that you'd love to do, that you'd like to do. Or if you're really struggling, just you're curious about. Maybe it's something like an extreme sport that you're just interested in or maybe it's like a new hobby like pottery or horse riding or painting whatever it is right just make a list of those things that you're genuinely passionate about which i'll encourage and maybe and things that maybe you're curious about as well the second thing scheduling the top three as much as possible so maybe you do one thing every other day for and then you keep rotating like through the week. Maybe you get three in each day, maybe you get two in each day, and then you do the other one and the other, and then the other one, right? So scheduling them in as much as possible. I put writing in my week and I schedule that in so that I can do it because it makes me feel alive. I always get podcasting in because it really excites me to share some value. The next one I would say is scheduling the others on your list as much as possible. Maybe you haven't got that many on your list, but minimum of three, but scheduling the others just as much as possible. Don't put everything on your list every single day because that'll just get overwhelming, of course. Just scheduling for your week, all the things in your list as much as possible. And then the fourth one I'm going to say is log how you feel after each one, because the more you you write, the more you invite. When you record something and you notice, aha, that made me excited. I felt passionate and lit up about that. The more you want to keep doing that. And obviously praising yourself is a very key one as well in recording it. Because the more you do something you love, the more you want to do more of it. And when you, especially when you praise yourself. Final point, a uh, good question to ask yourself. Uh, just want to mention again that if you want to connect me more on social media, you can find my links in the show notes below. Is think back to when you were a kid. When you were a kid, what did you absolutely love doing? What was it that made you feel so alive? Like for me, I like to create stories. I started writing stories. Uh, I like to be on camera. I like to share things, right? So thinking back to when you were a kid is a really good question of what you like to do. Even if it seems silly, just do it. Just put it in your day, even five minutes a day. You can commit to five minutes a day just doing that thing that you love doing as a kid for a week and then logging and then following the other steps. Like I said, that could be a really good starting point question. So that's what I've got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. And remember to leave your heart, not a fear.